ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the third day of November. James Spann here. And what can you say? If you liked the weather yesterday, you'll love it today. A second helping. Let's go right to some of the shots around the network. And I wanted to show you some I captured as the sun was going down yesterday. In fact, these were taken during our 5 o'clock news. That's just great. That's our Gulf Shore Sky Cam. Boy, it's a great time of the year. Uh, the sun going down now about 4.54 in the afternoon. And uh, just a few clouds over there in the western horizon. That's coming from the Phoenix All Suites. Really nice. And not too far away, I captured that shot coming from the Dauphin Island sky cam. At the same time, as the sun was going down in the west, the moon was rising over in the east. A full moon last night, glistening off the water. That was a great shot there. And this morning, that's a look at the downtown Tuscaloosa captured at 5 o'clock. Things are nice and quiet down there. Well, it's awfully quiet. Much of the nation in very dry air. Broad trough over the east. Nice and cool this morning. Mostly 40s. Everybody somewhere between 40 and 45 degrees. And we're going to stay dry for a while. This is the uh, QPF chart valid through Saturday evening. We'll be dry all the way through the weekend. And the tropics are quiet. We do note, really, that I know the guys at uh, the uh, NHC have that little flare near the Central American Coast Circle. We're watching also uh, the uh, Bay of Campeche down there. But, of course, as we pointed out, the water is cool up here. So we'll have no issues, uh, at least in this part of the tropics, until next year. You have to have some deep tropical action for anything for this uh, last few weeks of this hurricane season. The Q, the uh, GFS, valid at 1 o'clock today. This is the OZ run at 500 millibars. Uh, broad trough over the east, ridge over the southwest, and down below, beautiful day. Sunny with mid to upper 60s. Same thing tomorrow. Thursday, a new surface high drops in here. Another sunny day with highs in the upper 60s. And Friday, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. We'll enjoy that deep blue cobalt sky. What about the weekend? Saturday, we note the ridge beginning to build in from the south and if anything, that would suggest warmer afternoons, uh, maybe mid-70s with a sunny sky. And Sunday looks good, but the winds begin to veer back into the south and moisture is coming up through eastern Texas. And Monday of next week, rain breaks out to the west. Uh, and that's suggesting maybe some rain moving in here Monday night of next week. And there's Tuesday, a pretty nice uh, negative tilt uh, trough lifting just northwest of the state. And that uh, looks like an active day. And by golly, maybe a strong storm or two. We'll see. The uh, main surface low is way up north over uh, around Duluth, Minnesota. But that's the next chance of rain, Monday night and Tuesday of next week. And then uh, on Wednesday of next week, the rain is pretty much gone to the east as the surface low is way up in Canada. End of the forecast. Ooh, cold-looking pattern for the east. A ridge pumps up out west, and that looks awfully cold for the eastern U.S. And 540 line getting down into the uh, Tennessee Valley. So we'll see if uh, might get a good pop of cold air out there at uh, mid-month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.